welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how I got started with running and kind of the things I wish I'd known before I started running. I'm also going to give you my tips, tell you what gear has worked for me, what apps have worked for me, and anything I've learned so far. Now, I've only been running for four weeks, but it's a big deal for me because I've never been very good at sticking to fitness, but I have stuck to it. And more than that, I'm actually really enjoying it. So if I go back to the beginning, this all started because my friend Becky messaged me and she said she'd signed up to do a half marathon and would I like to join the team and raise loads of money for Great Ormond Street Hospital. Now when she texted me that I was instantly like nope I can't do that like I'm not a runner it's impossible. But then she said, you know, we've got six months to train. There's a team of us. We can do this. And I started to ask around a few friends of mine that are PTs. I asked them if someone had never run before, could they train up and run a half marathon within six months? And every single one of them was like, yes, it's totally achievable. And you can definitely do that. So I don't know what came over me, but I said yes. And it's quite a big deal because I've never had much confidence when it comes to getting fit outside of the home. Like, I'm fine to do my little hit routines at home, but the thought of road running or going to a fitness class really scares me. And I think it's because from the age of like 11, um, I was quite an early developer. I was curvy very early. And that meant that fitness was not only painful, but that I had to wear a bra and people would make fun of me and like all this. I don't know, that's really silly, but that is, like I, I just hated it being at school. Like I would try and get out of gym class. I was so embarrassed and yeah, I don't know. I just, I just really hated it. But now I'm a little bit older. I am definitely getting a little bit doughy <laughs> around this area. Um, and it's just time to do something for myself. My children are getting a little bit older and you know, whereas I've always had a baby and I've not been able to, well, I don't have a baby at the moment. So it's time to do something for myself. So I'm doing this. So to start out, I thought I'm going to train using the couch to 5k app. I cannot recommend it enough. It's been amazing. Um, because I'd never run before, it's a great way to get started. You kind of walk for five minutes, then you run for a minute, then you walk for a minute, then you run for a minute, and it builds you up very slowly um, in intervals of running and walking as well. I am now, I just finished week four, so now I'm up to running five minutes straight and then having a break and then five minutes having a break. And then next week, I think we're going to be running eight minutes straight. And then after that's going to be 20 minutes. And then it builds you up so that you're running 5K in half an hour. So it's a great, slow way to do it. I cannot recommend it enough. It also tells you little tips um, while you are training as well. And it's actually been made by the NHS. So you just know that it's good for you and it's fine. And I've really surprised myself on it. I think not only is it building up your fitness, but I think the confidence side of thing has been a massive thing for me because it's also building up my confidence. You know, the first week I was like, okay, can I even run for one minute? And then when I finished the first week's session, I was like, okay, I can run a minute. The next week was, you know, 90 seconds, then three minutes, then five minutes. I know this sounds so small, but it's massive for me because when I go on my little 25 minute run, I, um, I can do like two and a half miles and that's quite a lot for like a non runner. And I burn 250 calories in 25 minutes. So it's great. I actually think that running as a parent is such a good form of exercise. The best thing about it for me is that as soon as I step outside my door, I'm working out. Like I don't have to drive to a gym. I don't have to get changed. I don't have to get into a swimming pool or anything like that. It's like I walk outside my door, it starts and I'm home in 25 minutes to half an hour. So that's brilliant because I can find pockets of 25 minutes here or there. If I go out quickly while Matt's at home with the boys before the day starts, or if I go out even once they're all in bed, I can quickly go for 25 minutes. If you can get a running partner or obviously I've signed up to this race and I've signed up with a few friends. So there's always someone going running. Am my like really good friend who lives around the corner from me? We've become 
like running partners and it's actually so nice and it definitely goes quicker when I'm running with someone because you're kind of chatting away and before you know it half an hour has gone. Another app that I've enjoyed using is called Runkeeper. My friend Laura told me about it. There are actually loads of apps that you can use to track how far you go, where you go, how many calories, how long for and all of that. But I like that this is just really simple to use. It will just show you how many miles you've gone or kilometers, um, how long for, um, what your pace was um, per mile and then also the calories that you've burnt. I've heard loads of people really recommend the Nike Run app as well to do like similar things. Now onto gear. I have learned a lot about running gear in the last month and I've actually spent a lot of money as well because some of it's quite pricey you don't have to go pricey but I did the stupid thing of getting some trainers that I really like the look of and you know they're beautiful and I got them on ASOS and I just thought they were amazing so I started running out with these and then by about week two I was like my knee really hurts like the, my left knee and a few friends were like have you gone to have your gait done and I was like what is your gait so apparently everyone runs differently everyone's feet are different and everyone needs like more stability or less um, so you can go to places I actually went to somewhere called runners need they will actually put you onto a treadmill film how you run and then slow it down and look at your feet and from that they can recommend the best trainers for you so I went and I did that and they said that I actually needed these trainers so I mean I didn't love the look of them as much but it doesn't matter I needed mid stability because my left leg when I run this foot actually rolls in a bit as I run so I need a bit more stability and yeah it was just really interesting and they have been really good since um, I've been going out running in this my knee is definitely hurting less so one huge thing is if give it a go see if you can keep it up for a couple of weeks like I did but then if you think yes I'm gonna do this this is gonna become a hobby definitely go and run on a treadmill and get someone to tell you you know which trainers you actually need I was surprised when I bought my trainers as well that they put you up half a size so I'm a size five but you need to run in a five and a half so there's just little things like that I had no clue before I even started running there's a few other things in terms of gear that I wanted to talk about. One is a good sports bra. You will definitely need this, especially if you're like a curvy girl. Um, my absolute favorite one is from Victoria's Secret. I'm definitely gonna go back and get another one of these. I find sports bras so tight that they're really hard to get off after a run. So I love that they have ones that just zip open. And this one is like double support because not only has it got that bit, but it also has um, that inside. So it's like a bra and a thing. It's like double the support. So I really love the Victoria's Secret sports bras. Um, in terms of activewear, I really like the ASOS 4505 range. Um, I've got quite a lot of stuff from there. Um, and then I actually treated myself to some like really pricey Lulu Lemon running leggings. My friend recommended them to me. She was like, it's like running on air. Um, so I bought them, but they were a hundred pounds. They're really expensive. They're great though. They've got pockets down the side. So if you need to put your phone or your key or like bits like that, you actually have a place to put them. So I really do like these. And I also got myself a lightweight running jacket, which is really good. Like living in England, it's never that warm. So I normally go out, like I start in my running jacket and then I come back with it like tied around my waist because obviously it gets hot. Um, but if you have activewear that doesn't have a pocket, this has been amazing. It's called a flip belt. And again, one of my friends recommended it to me. So you just put it around your waist and it's great. It stays in place, but but it also has pockets so you can put all of your belongings in it. You can put your phone, your keys, your bank card, like anything you're gonna need, you can have it around your waist because it's not until you go running and like, where do I put all this stuff when I don't have a bag? Um, so a flip belt is brilliant. It comes in loads of different colors. I just got gray because I knew that that would go with everything. So I love that. And then the last thing I wanted to show you guys 
is I got some headphones and I got the type of headphones that sit on your ears but not in your ears. It's kind of like near your ears. So you can actually wear these um, for the race that I'm gonna do because you need to be able to hear your surroundings obviously with traffic and things. You need to be careful. And little like um, earbuds, like what are they called? AirPods or whatever, um, they just fall out. Um, so these are good because it goes around the back of you and then it like hooks there, um, but you can kind of still hear. So I got these, they were discounted and a friend recommended them to me, but I'll link everything in the description down below if you do want to find it. I'm really enjoying it and I've totally surprised myself. I think that's why I'm making this video. I have wanted to go running every day, but every app and you know PT will tell you that it's important to have have rest days but when I do have a rest day I'm itching to get back out there and I think the main reason why I am also enjoying it is because it's the first guilt-free time I've had to myself since having children. I'm a mum of three and I feel guilty when I work. I feel guilty when I do anything for myself. But when I go running, it's like, well, I'm doing it for my health and I've signed up to this race. Like I've got a big goal in sight and I don't know, I don't feel guilty. And like half the time, it's only 25 minutes, I'll leave the boys playing football in the garden. I'll come back, they're still doing the exact same thing. They haven't really noticed. Like it's not that hard to squeeze in um, to my life so far. Like obviously these are smaller runs. When I start doing bigger runs, it might be harder. And since I've started running, it's had a really positive impact on the way I eat. I think because I can see how many calories I'm burning on the apps, when I go to eat something bad, it's literally like, that's a lot of running to burn that off. It's really made me think more about it. So I've got really into using an app called My Fitness Pal. I'm sure lots of people have already heard of this. I feel like I'm the last one to get onto it. Um, but it's super simple to use. You can input the food that you eat, but you can also just scan the products and it will know how many calories are in it. It will tell you nutrients. It will tell you all kinds of different things. And you can also input your exercises. I've been doing this thing that has really changed my mind set and I'm gonna tell you guys just in case it works for you as well but I've always been quite good at budgeting and finances and I've always like worked two jobs because I'd earn more money and then I could get that and you know I've always been quite good like never really had loads of debt or anything like that so the way that I now look at calories is like a budget I have a budget of calories each day and I just have to plan out how I spend the calories like what I eat um, but I can exercise like I can work and earn back some money calories I hope this is making sense basically um, I'm actually eating like 1300 calories a day at the moment because I am trying to lose a bit of weight if I'm getting to the point where I don't have many calories left in the day I'm like hmm I could go for a run and I can earn back 250 calories and then I can have an ice cream or you know that's kind of the way I'm thinking I'm thinking of it like um, money really I don't know if any of that made sense but I hope it does because it's literally changed the way that I think about food and stuff like that um, but yeah anyway I am rambling I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was interesting I will of course keep you updated on my training and I'm running my half marathon in October um, so wish me luck <laughs> and um, yeah ask me any questions you have in the comments down below I am still so new to this but I really wanted to share like my passion for it so far so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one bye guys